What's going on, everyone? So, Stu is a fan favorite, and many of us would welcome him back open arms. I mean, all the theories and speculations, the rumor mill has been going crazy about Stu returning in Scream 5. Uh, we've had tons of discussions on various videos about different ways to incorporate Stu. And though I've made my opinion clear that I don't think they will have him have some appearance in this film outside of like flashback scenes or something like that. I don't think he'll be a main state character in this upcoming film, though I've been wrong before and I wouldn't mind it. It's just all about the execution. Execution is key. Like that's my favorite word when it comes to talking screen five, because if you do things correctly and you make it a believable story, then, you know, us as fans will buy it. Now, I have an idea that I kind of want to have a discussion per usual, so join it down in the comments below on a way that would be very interesting to incorporate Stu to essentially any degree you want um, without making him sort of a main stake like character character. But before we get started, be sure to like this video. It helps me out a lot. It lets me know that you enjoy these types of videos and I truly appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join the discussion down in the comments below. So my like thinking with Stu is because again I don't think he's going to return as like Ghostface or even like Reformed as we've talked about. It's just there's there's never been a mention for him, and yes they they had the idea of bringing him back in three, but that was squashed. And it's just like the timeline does make sense, and you can make it make sense. But I just think that they're they're trying to move away from a lot of that. Yes, they want to add Easter eggs. They want it to you know bring back some of the old characters, reintroduce some like Martha Meeks, but overall they they want this to be their own film. I mean, I've uploaded the videos regarding the various interviews. Uh, number three will be up a little later today. And they have said that they want this to be its own film, but if you're a fan of the original, there'll be little Easter eggs and references that you'll understand that you'll enjoy. So how can we incorporate Stu into Scream 5 without making him a main character? And I resort back to Scream 3 where Sydney was seeing Martha. Now, we've had a video where we talked about Sydney's sort of mental state and how in Scream 3 they wanted to make that the, the main point of the film, but because of uh, Nev's filming schedule, she was unable to oblige the the time needed to really cover that in depth and this scream could be an opportunity to sort of elaborate more on her sort of mental state given that she's been in four other infamous ghost face attacks so what if the way you incorporate Stu into scream five would be he's just her mental mirage you know and and you could have Stu in this film and she's just seeing him sort of everywhere as like a reminiscence of like, you know, and it, it sort of builds the edge. And if you do want to incorporate Stu as a main character, like that would be a great way to sort of build that up and then incorporate him into Scream 6. You know, I mean, think about it. You have Scream 5 sort of Sydney seeing Stu all over the place, sort of like how he, she saw her mother. And, you know, maybe it's the 25th anniversary of the of the Woodsboro killings. So you tie in the anniversary in reality with the film. So now it's like, you know, that meta aspect. And because it's the anniversary, she's she's seeing these things and it's taking a, its effect on her, you know, her mental. And she's she's trying to navigate through her day and her life. And Stu is just popping up all over the place. Maybe Stu is even interacting with Sydney. You know, he's over there whispering in her ear, telling her stuff like, you know, it's going to happen again, yada, yada. Basically, a lot of the same lines as Maureen in Scream 3 and how they tied that in. Like, Maureen, you know, was sort of a main focus point, right? I mean, you can argue she was the main focus point of Scream 3. And you could kind of do that same thing with Stu and just have him interjected throughout this film and then that really sets up into Scream 6 if you want him to return. Because, yes, the timeline does fit. You know, you could say he was locked away. Uh, the only problem with that is that, like, you know, Dewey being a sheriff and, like, the town of Woodsboro being sort of notorious for these Woodsboro killings. Like, you'd think that there would be some reference if he was alive. Like, 
you, it's very unlikely that he was able to survive, for one. Because I know people argue it was just a TV. I don't know if you ever carried one of those TVs. Those things back in the day were, those things were like 50, 60 pounds, if not more in some cases, depending on the TV. And having that dropped on your face would probably kill you or hurt you enough to, to cause some serious damage on top of being stabbed, beat up, electrocuted, everything else. Again, I've gone in depth on this several times in videos, but you know, you have Stu, you can argue that, okay, he survived it, but how do you argue the fact that he was locked away or he like escaped and, you know, disappeared somewhere? Like that would be priority number one. And the whole idea in Scream 3 about bringing him back was that he was essentially a cult leader and all these cult members were basically protecting him and keeping him isolated. So unless you're going to resort back to that, like it's kind of hard. And it's a plot that we already know, well, a lot of us know, because it was leaked, you know, back when Scream 3 happened. So it's on the internet, it's available, you can look into it. Um, I'll probably even do a video diving into it at some point. But... Yeah, it's like you have to, everything has to make sense. And again, execution is key. But this way, you have Stu incorporated. You can incorporate him essentially through the entire film. Like, as long as Sydney's in the film, you can incorporate him in almost every one of those scenes. It would also be cool to kind of see an interaction with Stu and Sydney. You know, it, like it's, it, it's playing out for us on screen, but in reality, it's all in her head. You know, and you can even have points where Sydney's talking to somebody. And Stu's over there, you know, playing the devil on the shoulder, you know, type of thing. And it, you can, it, it would be a great way to kind of get inside Sydney's head and see her mental state. But at the same time, incorporate Stu as a character again and sort of bring, you know, fans that excitement. Uh, it adds to the emotion that they've been talking about forever in regards to this film. It just, it just checks off a lot of the boxes for for Scream 5 and what fans want. And I think this would be a really cool way to sort of incorporate all that. But as always, this is a discussion and I want to hear from you. So let me know down in the comments below. Uh, first, would you like Stu to come back? And second, if he did come back, would you like it in this capacity? Would you like to see it sort of be a, a, a mirage of Sydney's mind and she's, you know, seeing Stu all over the place. They're interacting. They're having dialogue. You know, maybe you even have like a Stu chase scene. You know, but it's there's really nobody there. Like, right when Stu's about to get her, like, he vanishes and she's, like, freaking out. Like, that would be really cool, too, to see Stu sort of reprise his ghost face role. Chase Sydney down. You get that epic scene. The the big, uh, the big uh, you know, insiders have all said that there are epic chase scenes that have us, like, reminiscing and all kinds of stuff. That would be a great way. You know, like, that would be an awesome... Like, you want to get us fans excited. See Ch uh, see uh, Sydney being chased down by Stu in the ghost face mask. And then, you know, again, have him, like, vanished at the end. I think that'd be a really cool thing. But, yeah, let me know down in the comments. If you haven't yet liked this video, it helps me out a lot. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Join this wonderful community. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.